Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tackling Terrain on Anvil of Board Gaming. Anvil of War! Tackling Terrain! So today we're going to be talking about how we created our little swamp pools for our swamp terrain set. So in order to create these, first we have to start with a base. So we're going to quickly jump over to the forge and show you guys exactly how we created these. So first we're going to go over all of the tools and materials you're going to need for this project. So we're going to start off with a couple brushes. Uh, these can be just cheap brushes from a craft store, or you can use some old brushes you have kicking around. The next thing we're going to need is a glue gun. Then we're going to need some sandpaper. We're going to need sand. We're going to need some drywall compound. You can get this at the local hardware store. You're going to need a scraper. You're going to need a X-Acto knife. And you're going to need PVA glue water. So 50-50 PVA glue and water. You're going to need insulation foam. And finally, you're going to need hardboard. Now, I've already gone and drawn out the rough shape of the base that we're going to create. So in order to uh, make the base, you're going to want to make sure that there's nice round edges and that everything's going to be sitting flat when you smooth it out on the table. We're back and we've already cut out the base, so uh, I've also gone ahead and sanded down the edges. We just took some sandpaper, our sandpaper, and just smoothed it out. You want to make sure that it's really smooth so that it sits down on the table flat. So now that we've created the base for the project, we're going to show you guys how we raised the edges and created the indent, which will eventually become the swampy pool. So we're going to use our X-Acto knife, uh, and we're going to cut out the foam, and we're going to create sort of a triangular shape. Um, we're going to want to basically make little wedges. Um, and as we cut out the wedges, uh, you're going to need a ton of these, so it's good to go ahead and make a bunch. We're going to line the, we're going to line the wedges up on the edge of the base, and we're basically, don't worry about going over it a little bit. Um, we're going to be cutting these down and smoothing it out. We're going to run the glue gun around the inside of the edge and just sort of seal it up so that it's nice and strong and the foam's not going anywhere. Then we're going to take our X-Acto knife. Now we're going to use the X-Acto knife to really smooth out the edge on the whole project. So um, be really careful when you're cutting and don't do what I'm doing in this video and cut towards your hand because that's very unsafe, but uh, I'm being an idiot. So once we get the edge all trimmed up and everything's um, and the rough shape of the lip of the pool is completed, we're going to need to make our drywall compound. So you're going to make a 50-50 mix of uh, the drywall compound mixed with water. And we just kind of want to make it into sort of a, a, a slop. Um, you're going to want to make sure that it's easily easy to work with. Then we're going to use our scraper, and we're just going to use that to apply the compound onto the edge. Now this is messy work, so I recommend not doing it on a clean table. What we're going to do is we're going to just slowly put it on all around the edges and we want to make it nice and smooth. So now that we have the overall shape of the project done, we're going to show you guys how we started to create the textures. So we need to sand the base. So next up we're going to sand the base. So we need to just apply our PVA glue and water all over the base. So just make sure you're putting it everywhere on it. Then we're going to use a bucket and we're going to pour sand over top. Again, I use the bucket just to catch all of the excess sand so that we can reuse it. Once the sand is completed uh, and it's dried, you're going to want to go over the entire project again using PVA glue and water just to really seal it in and make sure that it's really durable. So now that we've created the texture, we're going to need to paint this. This is really dependent on what type of terrain set you're planning on matching it with, but in this case, for our swamp mat, we wanted to go with the dark brown underneath. So we painted it with a dark brown, and then we dry brushed it with a little bit of Xandri dust just to give it a little bit more definition. Then we moved on to the foliage. So the foliage is a custom combination of clump foliage from Woodland Scenics, some moss that we purchased at the dollar store and then put into a nut grinder to create the flock, and then we also added a little bit of dried lichen to give it some bright green definition throughout it. So next up, we gotta add the water. So in this case, we use Liquitex Gloss Gel, but there's a variety of different products out there that you can use. Uh, many of them are meant for water effects, but we like to, I like to use this when I'm trying to mix in foliage to the water because it gives it a little bit of a texture definition and it also gives um, 
when it dries, it's very, very solid, and it'll hold all the foliage in place very, very well. So before it dries, you're gonna to wanna to add the moss, the lichen, all of the little pieces of plants to the gel, uh, and when it dries, it'll look really, really good. We created this kind of effect using a little bit of lichen, some clump foliage, and some leftover moss that we had from our dollar store purchase. And we basically just clumped it in little pools and areas uh, to kind of create some foliage in the water. When you're out shopping around, you really need to keep an open mind. There's inspiration all around you if you're looking for it. We found these at the local Walmart. We chopped off the stems. They were for a floral decoration. And we added the petals from the dollar store, added some ink to give it a little bit more texture, and we gave a dry brush of a brighter green just to kind of make them really punch. Other than that, we added these little reeds. They were basically just to add the swamp effect, swamp look, um, and these were just extra little pieces of foliage that we had left over from our purchase of multiple plants for our terrain project. And that's how we created our swampy pools for our swamp terrain set. Sponsored by! Thanks for watching Anvil of War Gaming. If you like our videos and you want to check out more of our content, click on the links on the screen or below. You should be clicking on our videos right now. They're right there. Click them. You can see more. What are you waiting for?